How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to episode number 10 of the Road to the Queen Black Dragoning. Uh, first off, shout out to my friend Juju. He actually lent me a noxious staff uh, just for this episode. Uh, he basically wasn't playing RuneScape for a bit, taking a bit of a break, so he said, here, use it, try it out for the episode. And it was freaking amazing, so thanks a lot, man, uh, for that. Really helped speed up the kills and it was just a good thing to try. Uh, so yeah, thanks for that. Uh, it has now been safely returned. Don't worry, I didn't scam or anything. It's his. <laughs> it's, it's back in his account now, but it was very nice for the episode. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, just some drops. Uh, in terms of special kills, well, we did have a noxious staff, so I basically went and I did a couple speed-ish kills. Uh, so the special kill for this episode is actually me getting a personal best, which I guess you're seeing right here. It was a lot of fun. The speed was very incredible. Uh, it makes me kind of want to get a noxious staff, because I didn't even have um, the amulet that makes dragon breath better, uh, or anything close to max mage. As you can see, like I had Virtus for some of the clips, and I had Sea Singers for others. I basically bought some Virtus because it's very cheap. I uh, bought myself a little bit of Virtus, uh, just to kind of speed up the kills a little further, but once again, I sold it back once uh, once I gave back his Noxious Staff. Uh, so yeah, it was a lot of fun uh, going for speed kills and doing that. Um, so yeah, anyway guys, I've got a lot of clips of just me getting loots. Uh, now, you'll notice the audio is terrible, that's because it's through shadow play, which basically means I got the drop and then I went back in time to get the clip of me reacting to the drop. So anyway guys, you'll see that in just a second, uh, and then we'll go to the price check. So anyway guys, see you guys in a minute. Hey, there's another royal frame. Look at that. Not bad at all. <clears throat> what the heck? Three rune bars, 150 big bones, and a royal torsion spring. That works for me. Three royal pieces already this episode. Looking good. Whew. I've got two in my bank at the Dude, moment. Dude, I just got back-to-back -back RDTs. That's 300 mahogany planks. Nice. That's like a mil. No, it's like... 600k? I don't know. It's yeah, I just... RDTs. Back to back to back. That's 100 grimy snapdragon. Oh, gee. That's 400k. That's too funny. That's four royal pieces in the last, like, six kills. My luck that they're worth nothing, but, you know. If you get it on, like, 2,000 kills, I'm gonna laugh. Of course there's another royal piece. That's five since I started. Another like... royal piece. I've had six of them since I started talking to you. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. I mean, they're they're, like, the worst drop you could get, but still... Alrighty guys, so here's what the tab's looking like. As you can see, 4,204 bones. I actually thought I messed up and killed the wrong amount. I didn't. I actually got an RDT drop of 204 dragon bones. Uh, but you know how I keep track of the tab based on um, the number of dragon bones I have? I decided after the episode, I actually sold the 204 dragon bones. So in the next episode in the price check, you're going to see a little bit more cash and f fewer dragon bones just because I was counting them 400 dragon bones per episode. Uh, so it kind of ruined the counter if I had extra dragon bones. So I did sell them for cash. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Uh, but yeah, for this price check, uh, they were dragon bones and not cash. But like I said, I switched them out. It was worth like 300 or 400k, something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what the price check is looking like. Uh, as you guys can see there, 115 mil if you add up the two invents together. Uh, so that's not a bad little tab. Uh, so now we just need the pet. Anyway, guys, have a good one and peace.